Let us gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of his Father, and the power and wisdom of the Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. As we gather together on this beautiful day, let us take a moment, call into mind the times that we have failed to trust in God's mercy, asking our Lord's pardon and peace. You came to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You forgive the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly Lord, King, Lord, O God, Lord, Almighty Lord, Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Lord, Son, Lord God, Lord, Lamb of God, Lord, Son of the Father, Lord, you take Lord, away the Lord, sins of the world, Lord, have mercy Lord, on us. You take Lord, away the Lord, sins of the world, Lord, receive Lord, our prayer. You are Lord, seated at the right Lord, hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy Lord, on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. From those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. This we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking to me say, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Heart of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Our, Our eyes are, are fixed, fixed on, on the Lord, Lord, pleading for his, his mercy. mercy. To you I lift up my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. Our, Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are the eyes on the Lord, our God, till he have pity on us. Our, Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Have pity on us, O Lord, have pity on us. For we are more than sated with contempt. Our souls are more than sated with the mockery of the arrogant, with the contempt of the proud. Our, Our eyes, eyes are fixed, fixed on the Lord, Lord pleading for, for his mercy. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. 
I will rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses, in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. May the Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in a synagogue and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given to him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not, not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I can remember clearly the first day I ever met Sammy. I'd gone up to the houses at the treatment center to get the altar service, and I noticed the young, young boy sitting on the hillside. Quiet place for him to think and reflect on that Sunday morning. But now it was a different, it was, today I was in the gymnasium and Sammy was having what we would call a blowout and he was having to be restrained by some of the staff members. We had just lost a close basketball game by one point. Sammy had taken the last shot and missed it. Well, on the way to the rec room, one teammate commented loud enough for him to hear He'll never change. He's a loser. Now the boys at the center are, are, have pretty thick skins. They have to in order to survive in the world that they have come from. And Sammy was able to articulate eventually that these words that he heard a teammate say to him were the same words as his father said to him when he was being removed from his home. He'll never change. In the gospel passage today, we witness Jesus himself facing rejection in his own hometown. Those who knew him best, who saw him grow up, were unable to recognize that divine presence within him. In this nar narrative, there are, I think, profound lessons for our own lives. Like Jesus, each one of us encounters rejection in some form. It may come from those closest to us, maybe from strangers. It may even be that voice within us. It can cause us to question our own self-worth, to feel isolated, discouraged. And I think and it is in these times of the pain of rejection that we look for the example set by our Lord. Despite the skepticism, despite the disbelief by his own hometown, Jesus remained constant to his mission. He did not allow the pain of rejection to, prefer, to deter him from proclaiming the kingdom of God. He continued to heal the sick he continued to preach the good news. 
Yes, we hear in the gospel, fewer were healed. Fewer came to believe than in the other towns he would visit. But that was because of their lack of faith. For you and I today, how might we embrace this resilience in our own lives? You and I are called to persevere in faith, even when we face adversity. We are reminded that our true worth is not defined by the opinions of others, but in the unconditional love of God for each of us. Remember, despite his divine nature, Jesus emptied himself and took the form of a slave to walk among us, to walk among the, among the marginalized, the outcast. He embraced with humility the limitations of human existence that he could reveal the love of God for all of us. Later that day, Sammy was able to hear a different spat. staff spoke to him that he had changed over these years with us. It would take some time for him to come to believe that he was truly a gift, that he had talents to share. For Sammy, the comments made, like Paul tells us today, that deep thorn in his side every now and then stabbing him. And every now and then we had to keep reminding him because he did have a deep faith in God. And it would be some weeks later in the Easter season that he would be the one who would put on the white robe, sit on the post outside the church doors on that Easter morning, proclaiming to all those latecomers and ones who forgot we changed the math time, he is not here. He is risen. The tomb is empty. This Sunday, our Lord reminds us that it's never too, too late to stop our disbelieving. And so gathered in faith today, let us place our needs, our prayers before our Heavenly Father. For all our bishops, priests, and de deacons in their prophetic ministry of teaching the Catholic faith, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For those who serve society and police and fire forces, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For the elderly and those with disabilities who find Christ's power in their weaknesses, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For deeper devotion to Mary in our community, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. As always, remember those prayer intentions that you've asked us to keep in our prayers at this Mass those intentions that are in the quiets of your hearts. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayer today. And then in your great unconditional love for us, listen to them and answer them as you promised to answer all that we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever.
Please pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and the good, good of all this holy church. church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with all the angels and saints, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we join together in that hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with, you, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the glorious mourners, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and the bishops of our diocese, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. And listen graciously to the prayers 
of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children that are scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Father, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the the power, and the glory are yours, now now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and you say to all of us gathered here today, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with all of you. And with your Your spirit. spirit. We take a moment now to offer one another, those family members or caregivers that are with us, some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take take away away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you that should you enter into my life, life, but only say the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, 
and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. And this we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For our final prayer and blessing, I do one thing, Sheila and Mike. I got you first this time last week. I got them at the end, you know. Um, once again, um, I always have to announce this because if I say anything, they type it on the bottom of the screen. And if I'm trying, as they run the address on the bottom of the screen and I'm talking something different, it confuses everybody. So if you would like to correspond to us here at Catholic TV Math, it's one, St. Vincent's Drive, San Rafael, California, 94903. Or you can always call and leave uh, Jan Shackern. She has all our correspondence. And uh, that phone number is area code 415-350-2928. It's only taken me two years to get that by heart, so. <laughs> Who said you can't teach an old dog new tricks? So let us bow our heads now, praying for God's blessing in our lives. May your hearts be filled with God's peace this day. May your eyes be filled with the wonder and the beauty of the world that surrounds you. May your hands do deeds of justice. And may your mind always seek God's truth. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he watch over you and care for you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And go in peace to love and serve the Lord as we love and serve one another. Thanks be to God. God.